Take it out. Hey, Henry? Yeah? Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. A well, uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is... is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Aww. Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely.
I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Huh. Yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How were those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? 
Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? <laughs> I didn't know you liked that stupid joke. Well, I did. I mean, it was my second day. I didn't feel as, um... Effusive? <laughs> yeah, sure. Effusive. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. 
Intel probably asked me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I look forward talking to you, even if you don't feel comfortable opening up. You always can. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. Fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, sure. No problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh... I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry! I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. <laughs> Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. 
I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Oh, Delilah, there's a big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. We'll see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay, um, I've, I've given it the good college try, uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, 
If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. There's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? around things seem normal with everyone else has anything strange been happening on your end no nothing really nothing really or nothing nothing my door was open the other night but that's not strange that doesn't sound like nothing it's nothing I promise all right I'm headed toward the camp anyway okay Keep your radio close to you. Nope. <sighs> hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hailing me? Following me around? Like, working with other people? Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes, and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I... I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Of course I'm 
I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, it's just how scared he would have been. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. 
been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Poverty Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that! Agreed! I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. 